Okay, I just want to do a quick overview of this product called uh, Magic Jack. I saw this thing online and it was one of those products that was a little bit too good to be true. It was only 40 bucks, it come with a year subscription, and then it's only 20 bucks a year after that for phone service, supposedly anywhere in the world or something like that, pretty much anywhere in the world. Free long distance, free unlimited local calling, so... I made this video for people who are interested in getting this, but they're not sure about it because it sounds kind of sketchy, so... Okay, this is all it is. It's just a simple little USB device with the USB plug on one end and the little uh, phone jack on the other side. And I'm going to install it here on this Mac that's been upgraded with Snow Leopard. So it comes with this little extension right here, the U little USB extension. You don't have to plug it in, but I'm going to to make it easier. So you just plug that in, and then you just plug your phone into the other end. Just a regular little phone jack. And as you can see here, I have a little cheapy $10 phone, so you don't need anything special to work with this. Okay. So this window just pops right up. I didn't do anything to get that going. And then I'll just double click it here to get it started. Now, when you first start up Magic Jack, instead of getting this menu, what you're going to get is a little setup menu. And it's about, I'd say, four or five steps. It has you enter your name, your email address, and it takes you through picking a, a phone number. And it takes about maybe a minute or two. And after you do that and complete that, you'll come to a menu just like this right here. So Magic Jack is pretty simple. It has your phone number up here at top. Uh, it has the dial out button right here, an end and send button to pick up and hang up, a 911 button to call for emergency, and uh, Google and 411 links, which takes you to Google and information. This quip button will eject the uh, Magic Jack. This will take you to your voicemail. And the voicemail is real easy to set up too. It has instructions right here. That also took about, I'd say, maybe five minutes to set it up. Uh, the instructions are pretty clear on how to do that. Right here, this will have a list of everybody that's called you. And you can also have a list of contacts where you can put people's names and numbers in. Uh, one thing with Magic Jack is you always have to use area codes for everything. So remember that when you're putting in your phone numbers. From the menu, you can have control over the uh, telephone, how loud it is. And then you can also switch to a computer headset. So if you have a computer headset that has, let's say, uh, you know, a microphone and earpiece built in, you can plug that in. Or you can just, like if you have a Mac, you can just use the built-in microphone and the built-in speakers. And that will also work to make phone calls. So let me switch it back to telephone. <clears throat> and if you decide to switch to headset or your computer, then you would just dial out right here and talk. And when people call you, you just, you know, click answer. Uh, since I'm using a phone, I'll show you that. So all you do is if this menu is closed, it'll pop up when you pick up your phone. See? See, it pops right up. And then you dial whatever you want to dial. And as soon as it gets to 10 digits, it'll go ahead and try dialing that number for you. Okay, now when you get a call, it works just the same. So as you can see right here, I have a little menu that's going to let me ignore or accept the call. And if I ignore, that's going to send this caller to voicemail. Okay, so as you can see right here, now we have a list of the call that I made and then it tells me right here this is the call that I missed and you can remove all these too. So that's about it. That's Magic Jack. Um, as far as what it does to your computer when it installs, the only thing I noticed is it has uh, this drive mounted right here called phone that you have to leave plugged in constantly. This never comes out, this never ejects um, and you're not supposed to put anything on the drive but other than that 
there was nothing noticeable change about my system. It doesn't slow down or nothing. Uh, one thing for people that use their Macs a lot, if you like to use multiple screens like I do, let's say you're down on this screen and somebody calls you, it's going to take you from this screen and go up to the original screen. See, it just took me up to the top screen to be able to answer this. So if somebody calls you right in the middle of something, it's going to flip to the other screen. And that might be a little bit of a, no of, you know, a bother, but other than that, uh, I say it's a pretty good product.